All right, hey guys. So as you can see here, I finally got a fish that I've been wanting for a while. It's a male jaguar cichlid. So I decided I might make a little care guide for you guys. So a jaguar cichlid is in the uh, Paracromis family. You have the Dovi, the Jaguar, the Red Tiger Motor Blends, the Loiselli, the Fredish Stelli, and they have the Multi Fasciatus. I do believe is what the um last one is. There might even be one more, like a La. I forgot the name, so don't let me uh botch it. But um, the Jaguar Cichlid is one of the more aggressive of the family. I put the um, Dovi Jaguar Cichlid and RTM as the top three in the uh, family. And all of those could very quite possibly be in the top 10 to 15 most aggressive cichlids in the world. <clears throat> so the Jaguar Cichlid, they can get up to about, they, I hear rumors of 20 to 24 inches in the wild. I'm only gonna speak on the larger that I've seen, which is about 18 inches. And in captivity, it's very rare that you're gonna get a Jaguar cichlid up to that size unless you give them proper space. So in captivity, you can expect them to get a, anywhere from 12 to 16 inches on average. And, um, these Jaguar cichlids, um, mine, I wouldn't consider it the most aggressive fish I've ever had at all, but they're very predatory. They have a, a big mouth. So anything that's gonna fit in that mouth, they're gonna try to get it in there. And um, I have mine in here with a few dither fish right now just to bring out more of his personality. I have a red tail shark, a uh, strawberry leperanus, and a male Salvini in here. <coughs> On YouTube, you can find Jaguar cichlids in community, communities often, if given proper space. You're gonna need about a, in my opinion, to keep a Jaguar cichlid with other large American cichlids. You're gonna need at least 180 to 300 gallon tank because they're gonna be, it's gonna, it might work for a while, but even now, like I just said, mine is a one year old Jaguar cichlid and he's about eight inches and he's starting to get a little bit more aggressive. But once they reach about that 12 inch mark and get a, about a two years old, <clears throat> I hear a lot of them flip the switch and they're gonna want their own territory. I hear cichlids aren't aggressive at all. They're more territorial. I beg to differ a little bit just because um, I've seen some cichlids show aggressive acts. It, it, I guess it comes down to how you define aggression, but they definitely want to fuck you up, for lack of a better word. Sorry, excuse my language for any kids watching. And I have uh, had a lot of different aggressive cichlids in the past, if you watch my videos. Over the last 15 years, I've been keeping a lot of different aggressive cichlids, but this has always been one of my bucket list fish. They are um, located in Honduras, Costa Rica, um, or other places. They come from Central America. I'm trying to think of other collection points for them. They, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice cracking a little bit. The males, have more spots. Like here, here, if you look on my past video, my last one had a lot more gold and different gold barring and um, patterns on them. This one here is more tan background with brown spots on them like a jaguar. That's what they get the name from, the jaguar sickly. They, um, I hear they are quite easy to breed from a small age. You can pair them up if you got a guaranteed male and female. I'm gonna to try to get me a female to try to get me some breeding going on if possible. And, uh, and we can see if it's as easy as people say. 
They are, um, if you've seen my Trimax cichlids that I had before, I wouldn't say they're as aggressive as Trimax cichlids, just in my um, case at least. So I do believe I'll have better luck breeding them. My Trimax cichlid always killed my female, but Amphilopus are known to do that. Paracromus are a little bit easier on their females. Jaguar cichlids are pretty easy to come across. It's um, <clears throat> it might be a little bit harder to find you a sexed male, but if you go to your local fish store, you can pretty much find Jaguar cichlids. They used to be a little bit more common than they have been over the last year or two, but still not impossible to find. They're not too costly and they're definitely worth it in the long run. When they're small, they still look good to me, but once they get bigger and get more territorial and show off their color when they're trying to display their dominance, it's, it's really a spectacle. Chases the Salvini and the other fishes around. Like I was saying, I put those and put them in there just as dither fish for now. I'll remove them eventually, unless the uh, unless he eats that little fire, female fire milk. I couldn't remove. I tried to catch it, but it was it continued to flee. He's hiding from me now here. I'm also trying to catch that fire milk. All right, guys, I'll give you a little bit of time to just watch him, watch his behavior. A lot of time I try to sit in the shadows with the lights off so he doesn't see me because once he does see me, he pays more attention to me than he does show his natural behavior. People who've been keeping fish for a while, I'm pretty sure you guys have all experienced that before. But I'm really excited about this guy. We're going to try to keep him for a while grow them out, get them 180 gallon and get them a female and breed them. Definitely a stunner. Like, share, and subscribe if you could. Take a look at my other videos. I have a lot of different, I kept a lot of different fish over the years, but this is my first Jaguar. That's a guaranteed male.